hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here we have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z equals to 168 here we want to find the value of x y and z where x is less than y and the y is less than z from here we can write this as 2 raised to power x divided by 2 raised to power x then multiply by 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z which is equal to 168 from here here we have not done anything because here we still give us 1 so we see the same thing with the equation we have then let's write this and take 2 raised to power x inside here so we have 2 raised to power x outside then into bracket 2 raised to power x divided by 2 raised to power x then plus 2 raised to power y divided by 2 raised to power x then plus 2 raised to power z divided by 2 raised to power x then close bracket equals to 168 then from here this divide each other and the the result is 1 so we have 2 raised to power x into bracket 1 plus here we can write it as 2 raised to power y minus x from the law of indices then plus also 2 raised to power z minus x then close bracket equal to 168 then from here we can separate 168 here as product of an even number and an odd number. So we have 8 times 21, we give us 168, which is 2 raised to the power 3, that's it. Then times 21. Then here we have this will be an even number from here. And of course, this will be an odd number. So here we have this as even as well and then we have this as odd as well. Then here we can equate 2 raised to power x to be equal to 2 raised to power 3 and also we equate 1 plus 2 raised to power y minus x plus 2 raised to power z minus x we can say that is equals to 21 from here then from this side we have the same base on both sides then x here will be equals to 3 then on this side we can take 1 to this side and when we write this we have 2 raised to power y minus x plus 2 raised to power z minus x we then be equal to 21 then minus 1 then here yeah, from the law of indices we can write it as 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power x equals to 20 from here then in the next step we have x to be equals to 3 then we can substitute for x equals to 3 and the uh, let me write it from here now okay you can still write it here we have 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power 3 now then plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power 3 equals to 20 and 2 raised to power 3 simply means 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 so from here we have 2 raised to power y over 8 plus 2 raised to power z over 8 which is equal to 20 from here, which is 20 over 1. And from here, the LCM is 8. Let's clear this fraction and multiply through by 8. Here remains 2 raised to power y, then plus 2 raised to power z, which is equal to 20 times 8, we have 160. Then also, working from here, we can equally write this as 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power y into bracket 2 raised to power y plus 2 raised to power z 
which is equal to 160 here we have not done anything 3 to power y divided 3 to power y will still be 1 then we take out this again then let's take 3 to power y inside the same way we you know did the other one and uh, we can write this again as 2 raised to power y into bracket 2 raised to power y over 2 raised to power y then plus 2 raised to power z over 2 raised to power y then it will be equal to 160 then from here we can write it as 2 raised to power y into bracket here will be 1 plus here we write it as 2 raised to power z minus y for the law of indices which is equal to 160 and from there 160 we can also separate it as 2 raised to power 5 then times 5 so so that one is even and one is odd from here this is said to be even and this is odd from here also this is even from here and the uh, 5 here is odd then by the time we equate it we have 2 raised to power y now to be equals to 2 raised to power 5 and uh, we have 1 plus 2 raised to power z minus y will be equals to 5 on this side so this is equals to 5 then from here when we solve on this side we have same base we can say y equals to 5 from here then let's take one to this side we have 2 raised to power z minus y equal to 5 minus 1 then we have 2 raised to power z minus y equals to 4 and uh, of course we can write 4 as 2 raised to power 2 then the base are equal as well we can say from here that z minus y equals to 2 that is we equate the power and we got y to be 5 that means from here we have z minus 5 equals to 2 then we have z equals to 2 plus 5 then z here equals to 7 so we have z to be 7 y to be 5 and the x to be 3 from here so now we can check from what we have if this really satisfies the given problem from here what we got is x equals to 3 we got y equals to 5 we got z equals to 7 then from here we substitute the values from what we have 2 raised to power x we become 2 raised to power 3 then plus 2 raised to power y become 2 raised to power 5 then plus 2 raised to power 7 is this equals to 168 from here then 2 raised to power 3 from there is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 plus 2 multiply itself 5 times here and that is 32 then plus 2 multiply itself 7 times that's 128 is this equals to 168 then when we have this side we have 168 equals to 168 left hand side equals to right hand side then we can conclude from here that x equals to 3 y equals to 5 and z equals to 7 satisfy this given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up put your comment in the comment section thank you see you next class bye for now